Hello again and welcome to another Show Me. In this one, the topic of conversation is the soft palate. And we're going to be talking about the muscles themselves, of which there's five, and also their innovation. So let's take a sagittal view here. And first of all, let's actually just identify the soft palate. So the soft palate is in here. It's the soft palate. Uh, you can see the tongue in this region in here. You can see the tongue in around here. And the soft palate extends off the back of this structure in here, which is the hard palate. And the hard palate is made up of the palatine process of the maxilla and the palatine bone. And hanging off the back of it is the soft palate. And the job of the soft palate really is it can be depressed, it can be pulled down from muscles below it, and that way it kind of shuts off the oropharynx and opens up the nasopharynx. And of course it can be elevated to separate off the nasopharynx and can become a kind of extension of the hard palate and can sometimes be, be used in uh, as an extra muscle in, in mastication, particularly with one particular muscle. So hopefully then you can see how the muscles that we're going to talk about next are essentially going to pull this the soft palate up or pull it down in this direction. So let's have a look at our first group of muscles. These are muscles which come off the bottom, inferior to the soft palate. There's one here which is called the muscular uvulae and you've all seen that. If you open your mouth and have a look you'll see that dangling down. Hopefully you'll all recognize this structure in here as well as the palatine tonsil. Now when you look into your own mouth you can see these two arches and these arches or folds have mucosa kind of covering them but beneath them are two muscles and in this muscle in here so we've got a muscle that's kind of creating that fold on each side in there and that's one of the palate group and that's called palatoglossus so let's write that out Oops, pal so in fact, let's do that again the pen's not working very well let's write it out properly palato gloss come on it's this got there in the end I think so that's palatoglossus that's the first one you see the one in the background in here we'll do that in a slightly different color in this one in there that one is called palatopharyngeus so let's see if the pen will work better on this occasion palato pharyngeus there we go so we've got these three muscles. So we've got one over here, one here, and of course we mustn't forget the muscular uvulae in here. These are three of the muscles of the palate. And we can basically say that the palatoglossus and palatopharyngeus create what's known as the isthmus of forces, and the palatine tonsil sits neatly in between there. You can normally see some crypts appearing if you look at your own mouth. The palatoglossus is a muscle which originates from the inferior surface of the palatine aponeurosis and inserts onto the lateral margin of the tongue. So it kind of doubles up as a tongue muscle as well and you re may remember it from that group and knowing that the name glossus is in the suffix will help you remember that. And this particular muscle is involved in depressing the palate and also it can move the palatoglossal arch forward and it can also elevate the back of the tongue. The palatopharyngeus uh, is originating really from the superior surface of the palatine aponeurosis but it inserts, it inserts into the pharyngeal wall and not onto the tongue so it's kind of a pure palate muscle and its job really is to depress the soft palate, as we talked about before, and it can also move the palatopharyngeal arch forward uh, towards the midline, and, and it also acts as a pharyngeal muscle to elevate the pharynx as well. The muscular uvulae 
is uh, is a strange structure really it uh, it comes from the hard palate and it inserts onto connective tissue uh, which is the uvula itself and the muscle itself elevates and retracts the uvula and uh, can often affect how thick the central region of the soft palate is. So these three muscles are part of the inferior group of palate muscles that are below the soft palate. If we move on to this particular view, this is a view which is showing the skull posteriorly and showing the soft palate in this region in here. So we can see the soft palate in here. And this green structure here is representing the superior constrictor muscle coming round and that will attach there. You can see it will eventually attach along this margin here to the pterygomandibular raphe stretching down from the pterygoid hamulus from the medial pterygoid plate down to the mandible and then posteriorly back here it will attach to the pharyngeal tubercle. So pharyngeal tubercle and pterygomandibular raphe are the important structures which the constrictor, the superior constrictor, at attaches to. We can see in here, we can see the muscular uvulae in here and up here, this structure in here is representing the auditory tube. And the two muscles belonging to the palate here are muscles which insert onto the roof of the soft palate and in one particular case creating an aponeurosis. And these are two muscles which go by the name of tensor veli palatini and levator veli palatini and they both originate from similar positions so the tensor actually comes down from the sphenoid bone and attaches to part of the fibrous part of the auditory tube um, and it inserts onto the palatine aponeurosis which is actually a region in here and its job is to tense the soft palate and uh, it also assists in opening the auditory tube. The tensor as you can see it changes direction it comes down vertically in here between the lateral and medial pterygoid plate it then hooks around the pterygoid hamulus and flattens out as an aponeurosis on either side so you can see it coming down here. The one that's slightly more vertical is the levator veli palatini and this comes from the petrous part of the temporal bone and it's anterior, just anterior to the opening of the carotid canal and it comes down slightly more vertically and doesn't run in between the pterygoid plates as the tensor does, it actually comes down vertically and you can see it in here, it's getting slightly messy now this diagram, but you can see it running in here and you can see it just spreading out and inserting onto the top of the soft palate. And the job of it really is to elevate the soft palate above the neutral position. Some textbooks might tell you that it also serves to open the auditory tube as well, but uh, other textbooks will tell you that it's actually just tensor Bailey Palatini that does that. I don't think it is particularly important really, but I do think that being able to open the auditory tube is very important for the middle ear to equalise pressure and certainly the act of swallowing it would explain why the act of swallowing um, is useful in, uh, in allowing to equalise the pressure in the middle ear. Okay, well I hope that's been useful. Um, before we go I'm just going to write out all the names of these muscles and we'll go through their innovation. So we can go with our superior group which we just talked about, which is the tensor Veli Palatini and the levator Veli Palatini. We can also mention the three that are inferior to the soft palate. So this is our inferior group, so below the soft palate. And these were, if you remember, they were the muscular, oops, let's do that again, the, 
muscular uvulae, U-V-U-L-A-E, I believe. And we've got our palato pharyngeus and our palato put that in there probably palato glossus muscles. So there are five muscles and we can say that the innovation here is all going to be vagus this is vagus this is vagus vagus here as well and vagus although we could say that generally speaking it is uh, pharyngeal plexus via the pharyngeal branch which means really that it is uh, the cranial accessory as well so we'll accept any of those but we'll keep it as vagus for simplicity the odd man out in here is this one which is tensor which is supplied by the mandibular nerve uh, a branch from the, to the medial pterygoid so it's going to be trigeminal so the way to remember this is to say well okay all of those are palate muscles except for tensor really which if you think about tensing the palate to firm the soft palate up so it acts much like the hard palate in order to bounce a bolus of food you might help remember that that is for mastication and not for swallowing elevating the soft palate would be for swallowing a bolus of food and that makes it um, in the palate group properly and therefore is innovate, innovated by vagus. That's a, a useful little tip to help you remember that the tensor Bailey Palatini is receiving trigeminal in, uh, innovation and not vagus. Okay, bye for now.